ADD meets insomnia tagged me to show my book collection. And this is going to seem completely minuscule because I don't buy a lot of books. I tend to borrow them from the library or my father who has a bit of a library of his own. I guess if I were to include my comic books I would have a greater collection but well This is the entire comic book collection, so I'm not going to be going through every single last one of those. Feel the world. I would like to read this, but I haven't actually gotten started. It was a present from my grandmother on my mother's side. It was her late husband's and apparently I'm continuing the tradition because he barely read it either. It does have to do with the fact that it's, you know, a brick and a half. But it is an interesting concept. It's basically about how interesting things happen when we aren't really focused on doing that exact thing. And that's kind of what the, the whole basis of my approach to making these videos is. You know, that the words will come. It's better than me writing a script. Trust me, I have tried writing scripts. I have to translate all these titles because my books aren't Danish. This one you might recognize if you've just seen it in English. The Philip Pullman, you know, The Golden Compass, I think. I've never read anything else by him. The Good Man Jesus and The Scoundrel Christ. I think that's what it is called in English. It's pretty good. I would have liked it to be more sardonic, more, you know, acidic in its criticism of Christianity, but as it is, it is pretty good. And maybe it not being so acidic, it will make believers think. There is an excellent passage. I believe Dragon Atheist already pointed this out. That has, you know, basically all the evils of the church are described really excellently. Pi's Life, I guess you'd call it. It was given to me by one of my father's brothers who always has something interesting so I knew it was would be interesting to read. It's basically about this, you know, guy named Pi, who's out on a boat with a tiger for a long time, and he lives through it, and, you know, leaves you wondering, is it real, or, you know, did this actually happen, and yeah. The New Psychology Handbook. Very good, thick but worth the read. Basically, you know, it's might be outdated by now because it is a couple of years old, but very interesting read. And at the time, it took in, into account all of the different theories about psychology. And it can also kind of be used as a work book kind of thing, you know, you could use this in class, in psychology class, because there are like assignments at the end of all the chapters. My only Clive Barker book, Aberat, this was given to me by my friend Anna, 
who you may have seen in a couple of my recent videos. And it's a fantasy story taking place in the world of Abarat, if that's how you pronounce it. This is really the only thing I've read by Barker, I think. And, you know, he definitely is a good writer. Very, I mean, I'm not even into fantasy, so. And it still pretty well captivated me. I was actually kind of annoyed near the end when I realized, oh crap, this is a series, this isn't going to have an ending. And maybe the favorite of the books that I own, The Possibility of an Island by Michel Houellebecq. I already sort of did a review on this, though I'm really not a literary critic, so... Anyway, it's about Daniel, who's trying to make love work, and, you know, trying to sort of rediscover his humanity, I suppose you could say, because he realizes that he's been a comedian for so long, he's broken down so many boundaries, he can't really consider himself, he doesn't consider himself entirely human anymore, and he certainly hates laughter. And many generations later, his I guess 25th or so clone is trying to make sense of the writings of the original Daniel and writing a commentary on it because you know that far into the future I get the sense that there are very few humans left or at least you know few civilized there are these tribes that move around outside the boundaries of the cities and still live the way, you know, tribes people might do now or might have generations ago. And, yeah, life is basically just trying to figure out, trying to understand these things because these new clones aren't entirely human. So, yeah, that is my collection. So, yes, I am going to tag the Michael Myers fanatic, Peter Ola, Kyramid Head, Yes I Am James, and Dan Do Domination. So, 